let's head back up to where the the Black Canyon mines lead to or are supposed to lead to the outpost which is this here is no illusion the road is blocked I must go through the Kasim outpost to the west. Okay, so that's the deal. I was wondering, I'm like, I know I've missed something here. So, the way to the Kasim outpost is blocked, so we do have to go this way. In through the stinging winds, which you wouldn't normally go through unless you had to. Looks like we have to, because something is blocked off. So, whatever's going on with the Lost Caravan, I either did or you know, is an event that we don't necessarily have access to just yet. And here we have the Ruins Level 1. Now, I'll let you in on something. When I was going through this on normal, I thought the Ruins Level 1 was actually much uh, later in the act. I thought it was a completely different thing. I thought it was uh, actually required by the, the plot. I will spoil that there is a dungeon very similar in style to the ruins that that is required but ruins I they're huge by the way uh, this is not required this is entirely optional I'll take the gloves though I'll always take gloves I don't like this place to be honest with you because it can be a little difficult to see where you can and can't go and we do have these hidden enemies here writhing deceivers these serpentine demons are Belial's favored servants, and he has granted them some of his skill in cunning and illusion. Deceivers will cloak themselves in the familiar forms of their enemies' companions and friends, waiting to strike when the moment is opportune. It is only then that their true forms are revealed. Interesting and more new lore. The deserts of Kedjistan are majestic, expansive, and full of stinging swarms of insects. They may seem a minor nuisance, but these vermin carry numerous strains of pestilence. One of them was trapped in my boot once, and my foot swelled up to the size of a melon before the infection cleared. What horrible creatures! There is an emptiness within me as well. Yeah, somebody was talking, we didn't hear the, the first part of that conversation. Uh, the swarm, I don't understand necessarily how we can destroy them. You know, it's a whole group of bugs, and we just, like, one slice and they're gone. No, don't fully understand it. Like, one, two, three, gone. I don't understand how that works, but there they are. And they have gold on them somehow. They, they're just like everything else. They have stuff on them. Okay, so this is going to be a big area, like I have said before. The place is huge. Uh, so we're going to just keep trying to go through it, and uh, hopefully I find the right way. This place does have a very nice chest at the end. I don't know what the globes are. No, I don't. I don't know what any of this is. I don't know how we warped here. Meet eternity. Because we did warp here. Ah, uh, yes, these guys have that ability to cast, like, lightning all around them. And it's... Oh, shit. Treasure Bandit. It did say... Oh, I'm not doing nearly as much damage to him as I want. Get over here. Oh, no, he's moving... Mmm, to one of these. To a pillar that... It's, this is a spawner. Kill the Guardian Tower. Okay. We're, we're good now. Spell book. I think that is good for the mage, not for the, uh, the Templar, as you might think. What was I talking about? <laughs> Treasure goblins. They make me lose my train of thought real fast. Uh, you can still go that way, but I'm going to avoid it. I don't know which way to go. I'm going to choose this way. The Guardian Tower is not too tough, but they do spawn. So you want to keep an eye on that. There we go, level 19. What do we get this time? Active skill category number 4! Very nice. And uh, so we've got an Earthquake, which is the first one. 
Uh, we've gotten something for Rend, which I never use. Could be useful for PvP, though. Uh, Revenge gets a new rune that I will probably use, and that is it. Okay, so, Earthquake. It's pretty good. It costs 50 Fury, though. That's the bad side of it. I will go ahead and put that in, because I don't have anything better than Earthquake. Revenge, Gain Fury, and Life when, when Revenge is used. I thought it was already healing me. That... But, uh, hey, whatever. I'll gain Fury and life now. Hammer of the Ancient... No, Rand got Bloodlust, so now I can gain life when I damage enemies with Rand. But, you know, once again, I'm not going to stick with that. Come on, baby. I want it. I love, I love World 1. But, unfortunately for now, I don't have it. Where the hell did you guys come from? Oh, and there's a special Look, one. They're knocked back. Never imagined such a creature. Earthquake. Not going to be useful here. It does cost a ton, though. I am gaining a ton of experience real fast. I like that. Down it goes. Okay. Yeah, the the bugs. I'm not always sure how to how to approach because it's just like uh. Oh, we got dual ones here. Is that not dead? Okay. Oh, jeez. I need... I am not healing as much as I should be. I need better weapons, to be honest with you. I need... I need plus life per hit. That would be most useful. Plus, uh... Life per kill would also be nice, but... I like life per hit a lot better. Oh, this place is so big. I knew it. Uh, in Act 2, the dungeons are bigger, as you might expect. Yeah, I know there's another one of you in here. They said in the lore that those guys actually turn into the form of, like, your follower. I've never seen that. I don't know if they actually programmed that into the game or just, you know, mentioned it in the lore. But, uh, yeah, I've never seen it. Of course... They shoot so many of you uh, of them at you at once that it's kind of hard to just go. This was uh -oh. some kind of magical device. It must have been destroyed along with its master. Probably. So there's some kind of magical device. She's. It's nice having her here. She's useful for some things. Still don't have very good skills for her, but you know we'll get those. We'll get those. That didn't pull him in at all! Freaking jailers. And down it goes. Hardly ever need to use anything other than cleave, and I probably should. It probably would go faster that way. Um, I'm actually used to having a passive skill that I don't have here. That would explain why I play this one. What the hell? There's just random gold on the ground? Uh, I bet she killed somebody. Nice job! I don't know if she actually did, but I'm going to pretend she did. And now we're actually completing the loot, which is nice. We can head up here and complete this smaller loop. Then we can complete the bigger one that goes around. Yeah, this place is huge. I don't understand how you can destroy a ceremonial table like that, but we do. I, I don't understand necessarily the reason that our character is this powerful. Um, what they have said is that he is the Nephilim, which... Oh, Dust Imps are now? I swear we've already seen some form of them. Not all dangerous demons are large and imposing. The Dust Imps are little more than children in size, but they possess the cunning and bloodlust of far larger creatures. They take cover in the shadows, emerging only when viable prey wanders too close. Then they ambush, leaving little more than bones behind them. Berlan really dress in that manner? Yes. Why wouldn't they? Oh, I was merely curious. She's making fun of your outfit, man. Okay, so that actually leads to level two. That's the wrong button. So we've got quite a bit to explore here. I thought this was actually going to go all the way back to where I hadn't gone before, but no. It decided to be more complicated than that. So we're going to head this way. 
And once again, hopefully I can find some good equipment. We'll pro I'll probably teleport out of here and then meet you back there, to be honest with you. It'll be a lot faster and probably a lot more fun to watch that way instead of watching me run all over the place. What's with the random gold? Hey, Kane's Lost Journal. Always nice to see. Ah, Belial. Belial, Lord of Lies, is the most elusive of the seven evils and is a master of deceit. It is said that he manipulated Asmodan into revolt against the prime evils. This began the Burning Hell's civil war, which ended with the dark exile of the prime evils to our mortal realm. So, that's definitely some good information to have. He manipulated Asmodan into revolt, and that revolt is what pretty much caused Diablo 2. Well, and a little bit of Diablo 1, but mostly Diablo 2. Let's learn about Asmodan. The Valrus Manuscript lists Asmodan as the best battlefield commander of all demons. Having defeated the angels many times in the eternal conflict across Pandemonium, and the prime evils in the demonic civil war. If the Lord of Sin ever assaults our realm, we truly have much to fear. So that's Asmodan. These guys sound very, very powerful. And it kind of implies that they're more powerful than the prime evils, because it said that he defeated a couple of the prime evils, but I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Why would he be considered a lesser evil? If he's more powerful than the prime evils. I don't that I don't understand. But then again, I'm not a hundred percent on the lore in this game. Hopefully, as we keep going, they'll they'll explain it some more. But these are very powerful things that we are up against here. That is certain. I mean they don't call them the Lords of Hell for nothing. Let's head over here. I'll finish exploring this, and then I'll probably go back to town and meet you back there. That... Oh, yeah, what's the deal? It takes forever to discover. Where the hell are these things coming from? What the hell is going on? Okay. So. Chest here. Amulet! Finally! We get an amulet. Now, though, I need to kill things before I can equip it. After all this time, an amulet, where is it? Oh, it's automatically equipped. Plus nine after each kill. That's not bad. It's not that great. But it's better than nothing. So I will take it. Down everything goes. Oh, where the hell are these stain swarms coming from? It's like there's nothing here, and all of a sudden she starts attacking. I don't, I don't understand. So this leads all the way back to the front again. Well, at least I have fully explored level 1 now, but this is going to be a long-ass run back to level 2. Or at least the entrance to level 2. And we still haven't even found the Kasim outpost. Okay, so that is the area fully explored. I'm going to warp back to town and clear my inventory, and I'll meet you back at the entrance to level 2. Okay, I am back. Do you have a couple pieces of new equipment? That is the same. This one is new. I crafted this one. 24.5 damage plus a little bit more attack speed. Could still use some kind of leech on it, but what am I going to do? Plus a new belt, plus 23 strength, and regenerates 2 life per second. <sighs> one of them was bound to be good. That is it. Let's move on to level 2. This one I don't think is as big as level 1, but it is still quite large from what I remember. And remember, this is all just a bonus dungeon. The, these are nice if you're in a rush, though. Uh, feel free to skip it. Wow, one shot. Nice. <laughs> like, I like one shotting things if I can. Two shotting, though, that is equally acceptable. We made well, a fine team. Not equally, but is is decently good. Yes, I know we make a fine team. That's why I picked you. <sighs> People like they don't think. They don't even think before they start talking. You don't always understand it. Three to four health per sec per per little thing. Those are like half seconds that those little numbers pop up. Did that pop out of the ground? That's a half second. <laughs> 
I can I can heal off of that. That's awesome. I love this. I love this character. Ah, oh, God. Barbarians. Forever, man. Uh, still have Earthquake. Still have yet to use it. I haven't really found a good use for it. It's really good against enemies when there there's a whole bunch of them bunched up. Not swarms, though. Not swarms. Maybe we'll use it against this. Go, Earthquake! Yeah. I should stun him before I do that. Yeah, it damages nearby enemies. It's pretty cool, but for, for I guess you could say, an ultimate attack, it's not the best out there, and we'll definitely find that. So we'll just head up to really two. Two shot? Yeah, two. I'm gonna need a critical if I wanna do it. Not even not even revenge does it. You disappoint me. Look, just over there. I never imagined such a creature. Another jailer. And his minions are now here. Oh recharging. I should only use the the ultimate when I'm up against a yellow guy, to be honest. I learned you. much from that. I could use it against a few of the champions, um, but I really should be saving it for the elites. Yeah, I've already fully explored this. There's not too much branching here, which is always nice. When it goes around in big circles, then I tend to have to backtrack, and I don't like having to do that. There we go. Destroy you. Swarms. Always the swarms. Down they go. We can go down here. Oh, I have, once again, changed the volume settings. I probably should have brought this up a while ago. Um, I tried to keep the voice the same, but the, the damage that we were doing here, all that sound... I tried to decrease that again. Hopefully you guys can still hear it. I'm ha for whatever reason, I'm having difficulty with the sound in this game. It always comes across differently. Here's the resplendent chest. Eh, decent. Decent hole. I don't really have much use for a shield. And fleeting. Very nice. Could have used that one before. But... Oh! We got you guys. You, you guys aren't even gonna let me get a revenge off? I don't think that lightning circle thing actually hurts me. I haven't found that it hurts me. Is there anything else here? No? Okay. So then we'll look at another one of Kane's lost satchels and learn about Diablo! Diablo was the youngest of the prime evils, but I found him the most dangerous, for his power over terror left him incapable of feeling fear. Though he had easily possessed and corrupted many humans, Diablo's essence was finally trapped in a soul stone and banished to the unfathomable abyss 20 years ago. 20 years ago is Diablo 2. So apparently they're... they still put him in a soul stone. I don't remember that they still put them in a soul stone, but if you say so, if you say so, it's kind of unclear what happened after we defeated him. I don't really go that much into it. I guess that's on purpose, so that they, well, either way, cast into the abyss. He's gone for good. <coughs> Surely, <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Okay. Freaking, I hate these guys. Dot. God, no! Stop that! Stop flinging your children at me so that they can do damage. That's not fair or, you know, okay by any culture, I don't think. Here you go! Be a bomb. I don't think it works that way. He's discovered the camp! Kill him! Oh shit, we got quite a few guys here. That wasn't too bad, though. What's in the satchel? The feared hero. We camp, lying in wait for a hero of incredible prowess. My gut churns with the suspicion that we are simply fodder. 
I have heard tales of this hero wading through our ranks, slaughtering us as if we were children. I will not sleep again tonight, I fear. So says the dark cultist. Damn right, I'm feared. Better run from me. I can slay everybody. I don't know why I'm this powerful, but I am happy to be this powerful. I don't think they've ever really bothered to explain why the heroes are this powerful, but we are. Let's hear about Andariel and Act 1 Diablo 2. Andariel was the only female evil. She aided the lesser evils for many years, but eventually she lost faith in their plots. Two decades ago, she chose to help Diablo during his resurgence and seize the Citadel of the Sightless Eye. Ultimately, she perished at the hands of brave heroes. Sorry, I didn't realize I was going to get rid of that. But we have found the Kasim outpost. We have found the waypoint to the Kasim outpost. And that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Diablo 3. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by our Barbarian and the Enchantress. We got rid of the Templar. He's hanging out over there, deeply in love with the Enchantress. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.